See, y'all know I can sing, did you? Okay, well, Coco is here to give you guys the tea on the new edition mini series, and I just have to say that I thoroughly enjoyed it. I was not really expecting BET to pull out all the stops and to have like a decent quality production, but I think he surprised us. They surprised us all in giving us a really good biopic. Now, first of all, the kids in the miniseries were so adorable. I thought they were so cute. And even the guy who played Ralph Trespant, he, like, definitely had a superstar appeal to him, even amongst all the boys. Like, I, I mean, we all know that Ralph Trespant was, quote-unquote, the superstar or the lead singer of the group. But the boy who played him, even, like, he stood out the most to me in the group next to the little boy who played Michael Bivens. I thought they were so adorable. They acted like brothers. Like, you could tell they had, like, real chemistry together. They were so cute. Like, I loved them. Now, throughout the movie, the mothers were kind of, like, pissing me off. Especially at the beginning when Maurice Stark came and offered them a recording contract, and they had a $500 bonus. Those mamas heard five hundred dollar bonus and didn't read the A, B, or the C on the contract and just said, "Where's Where's the pen? Where Where do I sign five hundred? Okay, here, go ahead, sign it right there. Go ahead, make you dot your eyes, cross your T's, make sure that you sign that right, Bobby. Okay, like, and then go to get mad at Brooke and fire him." And basically tell him that it's his fault that they're not getting paid, even though he's sitting there taking care of those boys. Now, I have to give kudos. I have to give kudos to Lala. Lala has stepped her acting chops up. I don't know what acting coach she's been working with or what kind of work she's been doing on the side, but she better get chopped from power. And she said, not again. I'm about to keep these paychecks coming in. I got to feed my second Melo not doing what he's supposed to do on the court. I got to feed my son. I'm about to keep a paycheck. I'm about to be an actress. Y'all are going to respect me, okay? Now, we all knew that Bobby Brown was crazy back in the day. Probably still is. And I don't think any of us really knew where it stemmed from. I mean, clearly, even as a child, he still had a little bit of an ego. But did it take him just having a lead part of Telephone Man for him to lose his damn mind? Like, all of a sudden, he had a lead. And he didn't know when to get off the stage, when to stop humping the floor. And he had females on his arm everywhere he went. was smoking crack and doing coke. Like, he just went out of control. He had that one lead and lost his damn mind. Now, something that surprised me was, did anybody know that Ricky Bell was strung out on drugs? Like, that was surprising as hell. And I'm surprised that he and the group was able to cover that up for so long. So, when it was 1996, did BET all of a sudden just forget to outdate everything? Like, it was really 1996 via 2016. It was like, BET didn't have enough money in their budget. And they were just kind of like, I mean, 1996, 2016, who can really tell the difference? Nigga, I can. Like, cabinets in Ricky Bell's house looking like this. I want to give a special shout out to the cast of New Edition. The men were phenomenal. They absolutely personified every single character that they were playing. I definitely was looking at them as if they were New Edition. So Elijah Kelly, Luke James Finer, like I think I prefer him over the real Johnny Gill. Like he is so fine and not gay. Um, and Aaron Hall and <sighs> Aaron Hall. He, Ralph wish he could be Aaron Hall. Like, Aaron Hall is fine as all, Aaron Hall is fine. Like, Ralph, Ralph could never touch, okay, anyway, you guys get the point. Like, these men are fine. Woody McClain, Algie Smith, and Brashear Gray. And I have to say, with Brashear, I was very surprised because I did not think that I was going to be able to watch him and not see Hakeem Lyons from Empire. He did a really good job in personifying Michael Bivens. And I just, you know, I'm going to give my actor kudos to you. I'm going to be producing a podcast this week specifically talking about the new edition miniseries and also talking about other popular biopics from the past. So you guys make sure that you subscribe not only to this YouTube channel, but also to my podcast and make sure that you are telling your family and friends about Coco's Tea.